Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up remote desk a remote desktop alternative VNC on your Windows 11 Home. It also works in Windows 10 Home, of course. Well, why would you do that? Well, because mainly in the Home Edition, there's now remote desktop server included. It's only in the professional and educational versions in Windows included. So in Home, you have the remote desktop client, but no server, so you cannot connect to your computer via remote desktop. And the alternative is, as uh, a free alternative is VNC. Let's get started. You can download tight VNC here from the homepage and you have two options here, depending on your version of Windows. Usually it's a 64 bit edition. Click download, then the download starts. And once you have done that, you can open the file here. And now we are in the installer. Click next and accept the license agreement, of course. And here we can select custom to customize our installation. And for the server, the computer we want to connect to, we will have to install both these options or at least the tight VNC server. And the other computer, it's enough if we only install the tight VNC viewer. Here in my case, I this is my computer I want to connect to. So I will install both options here. And here we have Another options to set up, uh, the important thing is the tight VNC service configuration. And in order to connect right after the boot to your computer, uh, we have to select this option here or keep it selected, register tight VNC server as a system service. If you want to do that manually, uncheck this tick box here. Okay, click next and then the installation will start and the firewall and all that stuff is set up. And now we are here at the configuration for the password. Setting up a password is quite important because, well, you can set no password, then everybody on the same network can connect to your computer using the VNC viewer. And well, as it claims here, this is dangerous. So uh, we will enter a password here in order to, which we have to enter when we want to connect to this computer here. And there's also the administrative password. This basically is for the configuration of the tight VNC server itself. So it's not important right here to set a password and you can do that later. Of course, we will have a look at that too. The important thing is um, require a password when you connect to this computer. Hit OK and now we are finished and the VNC server should be running right now. In order to connect to this computer here, we will have to find out our IP address. So we start a command prompt here and enter ipconfig and this will show my IP address here. This is this one and we will use this IP address to connect to this computer. Now I'm back at my original computer here and I start the tight VNC viewer here. That's the viewer application. On this computer, I only have to install the VNC viewer and I have to enter the IP address here. And as you can see, it's already in there, uh, point 81. And we leave the port as it is and just hit the connect button. And if everything works, we will, we will now be prompted for our password, which we will enter. And then we are connected to our computer. And as you can see, we still have the command prompt open here. We have opened on the other computer. Now I can remote control my computer here and do all the stuff you, you want to do with this computer. There are also some configuration of options here. You can open the start menu and you will find in here the tight VNC server offline configuration, which will open the configuration settings. And for example, you can change the password here, the primary password, you can set a view only password. You have different other options here, which include performance, like hiding the desktop wallpaper, enable file transfers, and you can also change the port to a different port if you want to do that. You have other options here as well. And yeah, well, just have a look at it. But usually with the default setting, it just works fine. Okay, in the end, let's speak about the disadvantages of this solution. Well, it's a free solution for Windows Home users. However, um, in spite, uh, if you are using a remote desktop, you have more options and more flexibility. Um, if you move the window around, you will see this is a little bit slower than the remote desktop usually is. And uh, also, you cannot have a free... Um, screen resolution here. So are bound to the resolution of your device. In order to change the resolution on your device, you have to 
just configure the configuration options here in Windows. Well, you can do that, but you're always bound to the uh, physical resolution of the other computer. So it's not that you can maximize this window here and uh, everything gets adjusted accordingly. So this is a one disadvantage. And if you want to use remote tester on a regular basis and you use it often, I would recommend that you are uh, getting the pro version of your operating system. The VNC is a nice solution if you just want to use it from time to time. Okay, basically, that's it.